please join in the call to worship. We enter the song of creation. Earth cradles our ancestors, birthing new life. We enter the prayer of creation. Sky brings darkness and light, holds storms and the stars. We enter the praise of creation. Mountains peaked with snow, hills swaying with grasses. We enter the silence of creation. Humanity between the ground and the heavens. We come here humbly as one earthly family to worship our creator, the giver of form, the maker of space. Amen. Hi, I'm Jeff Schlesinger, pastor of Emanuel Lutheran Church, south of Compton, Illinois, which you see in the background right now, and First Lutheran Church in Lee, Illinois. These are the two congregations that make up Heart of Illinois Lutheran Parish. Today is Sunday, September 12th, 2021, and we are in the midst at Heart of Illinois Lutheran of Season of Creation. Today is Planet Earth Sunday. We're so glad you joined us. Uh, you're invited to join us in person in future weeks. We meet at 8.30 at Emmanuel and 10.30 at First. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable coming in crowds yet, we'll continue to produce these videos. We hope that you find them inspirational. Again, thanks for joining us. We continue the service with the confession and forgiveness. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, who calls forth creation, who evokes praise from creation, and who stirs life in creation. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God, creation, and one another. God of righteousness and justice, you, you have made the earth and all that is in it, but we have failed to honor your good work. We do not recognize your presence among us, and our hardened hearts do not hear creation's cry. We have made your good land a desolation, and we dishonor your image in our neighbors. Forgive us in your steadfast love, O God, for trampling your vineyards and polluting your sky. On your holy mountain, Call us again to be stewards of your earth and to join all creation in songs of praise. Amen. Brothers and sisters, rejoice, for the incarnate word has come among you. Laying aside all heavenly glory, the servant of all is obedient unto death to make of you and all the earth a new creation. Rejoice. For Christ, from whom nothing can separate you, forgives you all your sins. Rejoice, for the one whose name is majestic in all the earth raises you up to newness of life. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious God, in wisdom you have made this amazing creation. From the warmth of this living earth to the cold depths of the oceans, all creation sings your praise. Help us to tread lightly in this world, to revel in the beauty and complexity of nature, and to join in the song of all creation in praise and thanksgiving to you. All this we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The first reading is from the first chapter of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void and darkness covered the face of the deep. 
while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the, that the light was good. And God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness he called night. And there was evening and there was morning, the first day. And God said, let there be a dome in the midst of the waters and let it separate the waters from the waters. So God made the dome and separated the waters that were under the dome from the waters that were above the dome. And it was so. God called the dome sky. And there was evening and there was morning the second day. And God said, let the waters under the sky be gathered together into one place and let the dry land appear. And it was so. God called the dry land earth and the waters that were gathered together, he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the earth put forth vegetation, plants yielding seed and fruit trees of every kind on earth that bear fruit with the seed in it. And it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed of every kind and trees of every kind bearing fruit with the seed in it. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning, the third day. And God said, let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be lights in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth, to rule over the day and over the night and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning, the fourth day. And God said, let the waters bring forth swarms of living creatures and let birds fly above the earth across the dome of the sky. So God created the great sea monsters and every living creature that moves of every kind with which the waters swarm and every winged bird of every kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them saying, be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters and the seas and let birds multiply on the earth. And there was evening and there was morning, the fifth day. And God said, let the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind, cattle and creeping things and wild animals of the earth of every kind. And it was so. God made the wild animals of the earth of every kind and the cattle of every kind and everything that creeps upon the ground of every kind. And God saw that it was good. The psalm for today comes is from Psalm 33. Rejoice in the Lord, be righteous. Praise is fitting for the upright. Praise the Lord with the lyre. Make music for God with a ten-stringed harp. Sing for the Lord a new song. Play your instruments skillfully with joyful sounds. For your word, O Lord, is right, and faithful are all your works. You love righteousness and justice. Your steadfast love fills the whole earth. By your word were the heavens made. By the breath of your mouth all the hosts of heaven. You gather up the waters of the ocean as in a water skin and store up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all who dwell in the world stand in awe. For God spoke and it came to pass. God commanded and it stood fast. The second reading is found in the book of Romans in the first chapter. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and wickedness and of those who by their wickedness Suppress the truth, for what can be known about God is plain to them, because God has shown it to them. Ever since the creation of the world, his eternal power and divine nature, in, invisible though they are, have been understood and seen through the many things he has made. So they are without excuse, for though they knew God, they did not honor him as God or give thanks to him. But they became futile in their thinking, and their senseless minds were darkened. Claiming to be wise, they became fools, and they exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images resembling a mortal human being, or birds, or four-footed animals, or reptiles. Here ends the readings. The Gospel for this Planet Earth Sunday is from the first chapter of John. 
In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to, he came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. This is the gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the beginning. When God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless and void. And a darkness covered the face of the deep. While a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. And God saw that it was good. It was good. It was good. Brothers and sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus the Christ. Amen. And God saw that it was good. Did you hear that phrase repeated six times in that first lesson? And God saw that it was good. What do you suppose God feels about this earth? that God breathed life into. And God saw that it was good. The word in Hebrew is tov, which of course does mean good, but it can also mean precious or very valuable, priceless. God saw that it was good. My uh, favorite type of globe is one of those globes that's contoured. You know, where, where the mountain ranges are bumpy and, and the, uh, the chasms are deep and uh, the, the Dead Sea, which is below sea level, would actually be in, pushed in uh, to the globe. Uh, of course, they're exaggerated because when you think about it, the mountains, you know, the tallest mountain in the world is what? 27,000 feet high, maybe five miles, and, and the earth itself is 24,000 miles uh, around, so five miles is but just a very, very small fraction. But when they do that, you realize what a varied and diverse place this planet is, that it's not this, this little smooth ball floating in space, but it's got contour, it's got character, it's got personality. 
And the more I learn about this earth, the more amazed and in awe I am in what God has created. For this earth, the heat of its core, mixed with the, the sun's rays that come down on it, are, are the perfect balance to create an environment for life. The eons and eons it took to separate the waters into oceans and the land into continents and, and to push the mountain ranges up out of the ground created an environment that produces weathered patterns that are life-sustaining. The gravitational pull from this planet is just perfect to support all of its life forms and geological features. The story we heard in Genesis 1 is not a scientific exclamation, explanation of how creation came to be, but rather a theological statement of the earth and, and all of creation's goodness, its preciousness, its pricelessness, and a description of its, of its diversity and interconnectedness and balance. No wonder the psalmist says that God's steadfast love fills the whole earth. Today on this Planet Earth Sunday, we come together in wonder at the marvelous earth around us and give thanks and praise to the God who created it. I, I love the fact that we cut off that first lesson where we did. There is more to the story. We all know there is more to the story, and we know what's coming up in the verses right after this story. But we cut it off there just to hear about all of the earth before the advent of humanity in this world. And we hear that God saw that it was good. On this Sunday, we look at the earth, not in terms of us, but just for the goodness, the preciousness, the pricelessness of the earth itself. Because God created it and saw that it was good. By God's word, creation came into being, both John and the psalmist tell us. And God saw that it was good, it was precious, it was priceless. How do I know that? Well, the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, dwelt on this very earth. That is how much God loves this place. Speaking of the steadfast love of God filling the whole earth. May we, in our faith, in our life, in our actions, see this little planet, the third rock from the sun, as good, as precious, as priceless. Amen. Touch the earth lightly, use the earth gently, nourish the life of the world in our care. Gift of great wonder, ours to surrender, just for
please join me in the Creation Creed. We believe in God who creates all things to live in harmony. Heaven and earth, sea and sky, sun and moon, fish and birds, mountains and valleys, forests and deserts, all animals great and small, all human beings, and cares for all creation as our perfect loving parent. We believe in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who came to reveal the depth of God's love for all creation and teach us to live under God's reign of justice, mercy, and compassion, who suffered death on the cross to save creation from oppression, violence, and hatred, who raises us with him into new life to experience joy, peace, and unity with God and all creation. We believe in the Holy Spirit, who calls, equips, empowers, and helps us to reject hatred, oppression, and violence against anyone, and to extend justice and mercy, love and compassion to all created things, earth, creatures, and humans, regardless of how similar or different we are from one another. Amen. At this time in the service, I make both a request and a thank you. Uh, a request that you consider making an offering to the mission of Heart of Illinois Lutheran Parish so we can continue to reach out with the good news of Jesus Christ, making a difference in individual lives and making a difference in the world. Also a big thank you to those of you who have continued to support the mission throughout this pandemic. We could not have stayed afloat without you. The easiest way to give, especially as you're watching this online, is to give via mail or electronically. Both our websites are on the screen now. They have online giving portals. You can also use Venmo if that's a medium you like to use. A second thank you goes to those who offered their time and talents to make this service possible. A uh, special thank you to Olivia Ross who led the singing, uh, to Sarah and Ryan Gates who accompanied us. And a special thank you to those who have provided pictures for the offering slideshow, which you'll see after the offering prayer in just a minute or two. We pause a moment for announcements. Our calendar is on the screen now. Uh, we have our regularly scheduled tea time and Bible study this week. Note that Emmanuel Council will be meeting on Thursday afternoon at 4.30, and we'll have a special meeting for young people and their parents regarding confirmation on Thursday evening at 7.30, at which time we'll talk about the confirmation program uh, and get ourselves organized. Also, this week is the nice walk. A few more words about that in just a moment. We continue with the season of creation through the next three weeks. Next week is Humanity Sunday. For Humanity Sunday, we have a special uh, activity plan during the worship service. Uh, we invite all of you to bring in a picture of your family or individual pictures of each of you in the family. Uh, during the service, we'll be uh, using those. So please bring them with you to worship. Uh, four by six or smaller, we don't re need really big pictures. Uh, and uh, we will be posting them up on a special poster. Next Saturday is the Nice Walk. Uh, if you wish to sponsor somebody for the Nice Walk, please call the office this week uh, and we'll get your name down. If you'd like to walk, please give me a call. I'm trying to get all the walkers together from both First Lutheran and Emmanuel Lutheran so we can at least start out together. Uh, this is one of NICE's biggest fundraisers, uh, so please consider participating in whatever way you're able. I think that's all the announcements we have at this time. Uh, we continue the service with the offering prayer and then our special season of creation slideshow, offering slideshow, followed by the uh, prayers and benediction. Loving Creator, you, you brought, brought us forth from, from the very earth, earth itself. itself. We share with others what you have entrusted to us. Bless these offerings. Compel us to use them not only to serve our human neighbors, 
but also to serve our sister sky, our brother mountain, our mother earth, and all our family and creation. We pray this in the name of the word that dwells among us. Amen. Gathered as one in the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus first taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now, brothers and sisters, may the God of all creation, of flowers and trees, of butterflies and bees, of squirrels and mountain lions, bless you and keep you and strengthen you for the work of loving all creation. In the name of the triune God. Amen. And now, Go in peace, care for creation. Thanks be to God. <laughs>